Welcome to Sports Soccer 345. This is the place where we discuss track and field in its entirety. Jamaica Shelley and Fraser Price dominates women's sprinting for over 15 years. In a recent interview, the five-time world champion and eight-time Olympic medalist reflects on the legacy, motherhood, retirement plans and life lessons. But we want to focus on two things that she said from that interview and you will hear what she has to say. We want us to listen to what she has to say about her feeling and her thoughts about 2022 World Championships. And also she discussed going after the world record still. This is what is motivating Shelly and Fraser Price at the moment. The world record of 1049 set by Flo Joe in 1988. So I want us to listen to what she has to say. Yeah, 2022 World Championship. Listen. Um, after starting the season, I would say, um, I would say fun because I think this last season I had so much fun. You know, I had more fun than I never have had ever had in a long time when it came to track. And being a, a consistent 10 6 runner going into the championship was just mind blowing with, by itself, you know, like. I never even thought that was possible, you know, to consistently run 10 6. And I knew that, okay, if I'm able to consistently run 10 6, it definitely means that there's still a peak to come. And I don't know when the peak's gonna come. And I didn't wanna stress myself out by thinking that because I was running these consistent 10 6, I needed to run 10 6 in this championship. I knew I just said, okay, then, all right, I just needed to win. I wanna win, you know, it didn't matter what time I ran. I wanted to win and coming across the line, especially being in Oregon where a lot of Jamaicans had the opportunity to come to watch the games and I think Oregon already had the green and the yellow stadium going so the vibe was just right so I think I had fun, it was energetic, it was everything and to cross the line again winning my fifth world title was but yeah, it was definitely um, one of those record-breaking moments for me and adding to the title, adding to just the story and the legacy of just creating your own narrative and, you know, finishing on your own time and, you know, not allowing persons to dictate what you do and when you do it. And, you know, if you're able to believe something, it doesn't matter if anybody else goes with you as long as you are willing to go the distance you know to prove to yourself beyond a reasonable doubt that you are more than you know what persons say or what you even believe for yourself because i definitely believe i can run 10-5 and once i run 10-5 i know 10-4 is possible so it's almost like i'm chasing this legacy of outdoing me you know of putting myself in a position where I can evolve and become extraordinary at just my own, you know, goals. Well, there you have it. Shelly and Fraser are self-speaking and that her main aim and focus right now because she has won it all. The only elusive thing that there is is the world record of 10.49 seconds. She also made it clear that she is trying to outdo herself and not a person per se. Um, this would be one of the greatest um, achievements if she can break the world record of 10.49 seconds. Also one of the hardest record here is that is to be broken. To run 10.49, to actually run 10.50 is a, is, is a feat that only one other human and that is Gillian Thompson have done it so far. So hats off to Shelly and Fraser at age 36 is trying to break the world record. Before you leave, please subscribe to the channel and drop a comment so that we can continue the conversation below.